Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple podcast. Now that we have the release of Mac OS Sierra as well as iOS 10, it's now an opportune moment to demonstrate a feature that works well across platforms. And that's the new upgrade that Apple has made to the iWork suite. That is the ability to collaborate in real time with your iWork documents. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how this works with Keynote. So let me go ahead and start by opening Keynote on my iPad and I'm gonna open an existing project. Now I'm gonna go ahead and send an invite to myself or my other self, that is to another email address that I have so that I can collaborate on this document. So I'm gonna hit the dots in the top right corner and I'm gonna select collaborate with others. And as you can see, this collaboration feature is in beta. I'm gonna select continue. And I'm going to go to the very bottom where it says share options. And that's just, this is important because this will help you select which option of the sharing feature that you want to choose. So for example, you'll see you have two options, only people you invite, anyone with the link. If you keep the first option selected, when the person receives the invite, they will have to log into iCloud. If you choose anyone with the link, then they will not be required to log into iCloud, they can actually open the, the application right in a browser without even logging in. So I'm gonna actually choose that option. Okay, we have that set up in the settings, and now I'm gonna go ahead and then find an option to share. In this case, I'm just gonna email this shared link to my other self. In this case, I'm gonna use my My Apple Podcast email address. I'm gonna go ahead and send that to my, my other address there. And I'm now gonna go and retrieve this invite from my email. As you can see here, I just received the message. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link. And what you're gonna notice here is that the application is going to open up in a browser window and so that I have a replication of the same application or project that's on my iPad. So I'm gonna, you can, the, the collaborator can add their name and then join in the collaboration. It's just that simple. Now I'm just gonna, for demo purposes, just do something quite simple so you can see how this works. So as you can see, I have my, my uh, browser version open with the MyAble podcast identity. And you also see another mirror image of my iPad where I'm, I'm myself under my, my Mac ID. Now using my MyAble podcast ID, that is operating the application in a browser, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this photo. And what you're gonna see is the photo deleted in real time. There may be just a fraction of a section, second that differentiates the change, but watch this. So almost immediately, actually it was pretty immediate, by deleting that photo from the browser version, the photo was also deleted instantly from the iPad version. Now I'm going to go back to myself, that is my Mac ID on my iPad, and I'm going to replace that photo with another photo in my library. I'm going to go ahead and resize that. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, this is occurring in real time on the browser version as well. In some cases, there may be just a fraction of a second difference, but for the most part, all these changes are actually occurring in real time. This is awesome. And this is something that you can do with all the other applications as well. So as you can see, this collaboration process is pretty seamless. So if you like using iWork and you like collaborating with others, this new feature is killer. You're going to really like it. It's seamless and it works perfectly. Try it on your own. I think you'll really like it. Uh, this is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for this short episode of my Apple podcast. Check me out next time.